Hello YouTubers and welcome to our 2018 Thanksgiving Fall Home Tour. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, we just wanted to show you how you can decorate on a tight budget and still make your house look really, really cute. Um, for the majority of my decorating uh, pieces, they usually come from either the Dollar Tree or from the dollar spot at Target, or I pick them up after they go on clearance after that particular holiday. Um, I don't like to pay full price for anything. Don't like to pay a whole lot of money for anything because, because of course it's seasonal and it's only gonna be up for so long. And I just think it's silly. And of course, as the years go by, our tastes change. So we like to change things out. Uh, of course, the last couple of years, my tastes have been geared towards the farmhouse look. And I'm really hoping that that theme stays around for quite a while because I really like it. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to gear my look towards. So, I uh, know that I live in a small apartment. And, like I said, you know, my decorating is very modest. I don't go overboard. But I do think it's really, really cute. And like I said, I don't spend a whole lot on my decorating. So let's get to it. So we're going to start over here at the door. I'm going to take it for a little. Let me flip it there. So there's the inside of my door. That usually hangs on the outside. It's just the door knocker or whatever uh, for a fall. I got that at the Dollar Tree. So just have it on the inside because... After I do this video, I'm actually going to be taking all the decorations down and starting decorating for Christmas because today is December the 2nd. And I do not believe in putting my tree up until after Thanksgiving. And of course, like many, um, you know, the holiday was hectic, so had to recuperate from that. So this is the week after, so I'm going to put the tree up this weekend and I kind of feel like you know Thanksgiving sometimes gets to be like the lost um, holiday because everybody's so busy decorating for Halloween and then it's like once Halloween is over then we start thinking about Christmas and it's kind of like we kind of forget about Thanksgiving being in between there and I only had my fall and Thanksgiving decorations up for, I don't know, a couple of weeks maybe. There were some things that I had up for Halloween, which you will see, that I did uh, go ahead and keep out for fall. But the majority of this stuff is, you know, different stuff and everything. So I just felt like I really didn't get to enjoy it as much as I do for the rest of the holidays. But that is an overlook of all of everything. So we're going to start here on my little shelves here. And I'll step back as far as I can. But up there on the top is a couple of pumpkins. Got those at Target. And the Blessed Pillow, I believe that comes from Walmart. Now I had those out uh, during... Uh, Thanksgiving is, or not Thanksgiving, but during uh, Halloween as well. And I may go ahead and leave the blessed pillow even out for Christmas and stuff because it definitely fits the theme. So up here on the top shelf, we have one of the really cute um, vases that a lot of people were getting at the Dollar Tree this year that has the little leaf uh, charm hanging from it from Twine. And then I've got flowers from the Dollar Tree in there. Um, the little sign back there, that came from Target several, several years ago. Um, that's the one that says about happy people. And then the other one back there, that of course is a Dollar Tree sign from several years ago. Then back there in the back, you will see like a milk jug. Um, I got that at Target at the Dollar Spot a couple of years ago. And then the little bitty brown bottle that kind of matches that big milk jug, I got that at Michael's several years ago. 
um, in their dollar spot. I don't even know if they have a dollar spot anymore. It's been so long since I've been at Michael's shopping. So, um, I also put a few little leaves that I got at the Dollar Tree in that little, uh, milk bottle there. Thought it turned out cute. And the little, uh, pumpkin, uh, with the blessings, saw or the blessings tag, that came from the Dollar General, and the two little bobblehead people next to it, and those are both from the Dollar Tree. So then we'll come down to the second shelf, and the little scarecrow back there, I actually picked him up at a local grocery store here. It's called Schnooks. I don't know if any of you guys uh, in the other states might have those, but I got him on sale. Uh, the little white pumpkin, that either came from the Dollar Tree or from Target's Dollar Spot. They both had pumpkins that were kind of similar. And then the blessed uh, wood word right there, that came from Walmart this year, which I really like because I can leave that all, you know, all year round. And then the sign back there in the very back, that is a Dollar Tree sign, along with the little uh, orange uh, mason jar type thing that came from Dollar Tree several years ago. And then I just put some like little berry uh, accent uh, stems and stuff in there. And then, of course, I have my little red truck that I got at. Hobby Lobby, and I've got it filled with pumpkins and acorns, and then the little uh, dangly leg owl, he came from the Dollar Tree, and then I just put a few little leaves that I got in a package at the Dollar Tree on there, just as accent pieces. Okay, and then we'll come down to this bottom shelf, and that side back there, that says, uh, what does it say? Harvest, harvest Blessings, that came from the Dollar Tree, and then both of these signs, or no, actually this sign over here, it came from Walmart, and then there's a couple of little pumpkins back there, again, those either came from Target Dollar Spot or the Dollar Tree, and then over here, the little sign there that says, um, give thanks and eat pie. That came from Target Dollar Spot. Again, the little pumpkin is either from Target Dollar Spot or um, Dollar Tree. And then there is a candle that smells absolutely scrumptious back there in the back. And that came from Target this year from their Dollar Spot. So that is that show. And as I was decorating this year, I realized I really didn't have nearly as many um, fall decorations as I thought I did. So over here is my TV stand, and I kept it kind of simple. I have my little home sign from the Dollar Tree next to a pumpkin with like a succulent in it. And then on the bottom shelf is my cherish sign that I keep out usually all year round. And on each side is a decorative um pumpkin that came from the Dollar Tree. So that is that. Okay, then we'll come over here to my other shelf. I don't have anything up there on the top shelf. So on this shelf here, again, I have another one of those vases from the Dollar Tree with some Dollar Tree flowers. That little fox there, he came from the Target Dollar Spot several years ago. Um, I got the pumpkin that says blessed. I got that at Walmart this year. And then I have a little pail that has a sunflower in it um, with some flowers and a little scarecrow all from the Dollar Tree along with those little pumpkin accents there. So really cute. Okay, then on the next shelf, back there in the back, you'll see a little scarecrow. He came from Walmart this year. Then I also have a little sign um, that's got like a lot of subway text on it. That came from Dollar General um, a couple years ago, I believe. 
the, the little pumpkins that say gather and give thanks, those came, or not give thanks, but gather and hello fall, those came from Walgreens. Uh, the fall sign back there, that's actually a piece of wood that I got at Target. And then the word fall is a separate piece. And I just put them on there with double-sided tape. Um, I plan on doing the same thing for Christmas. I've got like a word that says joy. And I'm going to put that on there. So I really like how that kind of turned out. And then the home sign, that's for Target as well. Get some more of the leaves just to use as accent pieces. Uh, and another one of those word plank things. And then the little blue truck back there. That came from the dollar spot at Target. And I've got it filled with little mini acorns from the Dollar Tree. So there's that. And then we have the bottom shelf, which is always hard to see because it's so dark. But, um, let's see, the sign there that says, Bless Our Home, that came from the Dollar Tree. Then back over there, there's some pumpkins, and then there is a um, tea light holder, which is has a leaf hanging off of it. And then I have one on this side. Those both came from Dollar Tree. They're really, really cute. And then, <coughs> excuse me, there are some pumpkins back there, again, from Dollar Tree. So, really cute. Okay. So, then we're going to come up here to where I decorate the top of my computer armoire. And that's what it looks like up there. Okay, so over on this side, okay, the little pumpkin that says, Couch for Blessings, that came from, I believe, Walmart. And then again, I have another one of those pills. This one has a um, scarecrow with some more flowers and another little scarecrow peeping out. All that is from the Dollar Tree. And then these little tea lights with the leaves on them, both the orange one and the green one, came from the Dollar Tree. And then the little sign in the middle that says, Welcome Friends. Again, another Dollar Tree find. And then over here to the side, the little raccoon uh, that says give thanks, he came from, let's see, he came from CBS, and then we have a really cute little bundle of uh, little accent pieces, fall accent pieces, and that came from Big Lots this year. And then again, I used the Buffalo Check uh, plaid scarves from Dollar Tree to decorate, like I said, that's going to be my theme um, if you watch my Halloween video decorating. That's going to be my theme for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and for Christmas. Then up here, what we started out with is the Gather Banner, and I got that at Target a couple of years ago. It is actually blue and white, uh, check, so I wish it had been black and white because it would have really went with the Buffalo check, but... It'll do, and it's not so far away, it's kind of hard to tell, but I really like this banner. I think it's really cute. So it says gather, so there's that. Then we're going to come over here to my little end table, and back there, it's really simple. I just basically put some of the little twine balls from Dollar Tree in there, and then um, I have some leaves, and then I have a string of lights from the Dollar Tree. And then also on the shelf is my wax warmer. I'm burning some fall scents because those are absolutely my favorite scents of all time. And I usually burn them all year round because they're just my favorite scents. And then I have a little uh, pumpkin there with a little uh, greenery out of it, hanging out of it. That came from Walmart, or not Walmart, came from Target. Again, another one of the Buffalo Check plaid scarves used as, like, a placemat. There's my puppy dog, Jackson. Jackson, you gonna say hi? There he is. Yeah, hey, Mama's boy. Okay, so then on the table there, we just have, again, the Buffalo Check plaid um, scarf. And then I have a little wood box. I put some shred in there that's fall accented colors. Um, I have my little pilgrim uh, bird uh, 
the little bird that's incognito in pilgrim attire, he is in there, and then I have my little vase with some flowers that I kind of felt like were fall themed colored, so very simple. And over here, have a buffalo plaid, uh, warm and cozy blanket that I got at Big Lots. And then we come over here to this table. And again, really simple. Just have my vase as uh, the ball, uh, mason jar vase that I got at Dollar General. Got it filled with lots of flowers from the Dollar Tree. And then I have a bottle from the Dollar Tree back there. It's like that amber color. Thought it was really pretty. Goes with the fall theme. I have an owl um, that I got at Target Dollar Spot several years ago. And then a couple more of the little pumpkin accents that come from either Dollar Tree or Target. So, that is all of that. Then we'll come over here to my table. And I believe that this was set up pretty much the same way for Thanksgiving. Or not Thanksgiving, but for Halloween. So I just have my little metal uh, vase there that I got at Dollar Tree. I've got it filled with lots of flowers from the Dollar Tree. And then I have my little woodland fox there that come from... Uh, let's see, Big Lots, and then the little pumpkin that says Good Things, he came from Walmart. And again, I have just my regular gray table skirt that I always have on my table, along with one of those scarves that I'm using as a runner on my table. So, come over here. And back in there, um, I just have a couple of little bobblehead people. Um, those came from Dollar Tree. And then I have a little pumpkin sitting on top there. That came from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So then I have my, I believe, cross back there. I believe, yeah, I got that at Walmart. And then the little sign that says, Thankful, Grateful, Blessed. That actually came from the Dollar Tree this year. Super cute. I mean, Dollar Tree is really stepping it up when it comes to their home decor. I just, I think it looks way more expensive than a dollar. But, you know, I just think it's cute. So, I got that. And then I've got another pumpkin accent for Dollar Tree. And uh, that is our first Christmas card of the season. So, I've already got it out because we got it a couple of days ago. Then here in the centerpiece, um, I had this out, I believe, for Halloween as well. The flower uh, uh, display. I uh, got that at Walmart. And then I got, <coughs> excuse me, some pumpkins there that came from the Dollar Tree. And then this little metal sign that says, Gather Here with Grateful Hearts. That came from the Dollar General. Okay. And then over here in the corner, another side from the Dollar Tree. And then down here, we have my little metal pail that I got at Hobby Lobby. I like to decorate it up for the different seasons. So I've got different pumpkins, different various sizes, um, all from either Target's Dollar Spot or from Dollar Tree. So super cute. Then I have my little shelf here under my bar area, and on top there, that side in the back that says, uh, gather together, that came from the Dollar Tree. I really like that side. I think it looks really expensive. Um, and then I also, my favorite thing from this year that I got was this, it looks like a, um, tree stump, and it says give thanks, and I think that's really, really cute. Um, the Autumn Blessings, that came from Dollar General a couple years ago, along with the little owl that matches, and then the Scarecrow, uh, that is from CVS, absolutely free, with saving up my extra care books, 
And then the pumpkin on each side of the scarecrow, those are from the dollar spot at dollar or dollar bleh, at Target. And then I just decorated with little accents of pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Um that little pumpkin there, and there's one on the other side. Those are actually salt and pepper shakers from the Dollar Tree, and then just some of the leaf accents. So, really, really cute. Very easy and inexpensive way to decorate for the holidays. Then there's my kitchen in there. Well, I'll go in there and show you. Um, didn't really do too much in the kitchen. So, pretty much the only thing I have in the kitchen are these two little pumpkins, which I think I had out for Halloween. So, I've got those, and then I have the little magnets on my refrigerator, and my little saying on my little memo board there, but the magnets came from the Dollar Tree. I thought those were really cute. And then, the only other thing I have is just my little napkins that say give thanks that we use for Thanksgiving. So, that is it. So, I hope that you enjoyed our 2018 Thanksgiving fall home tour. I hope that everyone had a very blessed and wonderful Thanksgiving this year. And I look forward to doing our Christmas 2018 home tour here in a few weeks. And I hope that you'll come back and watch. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.